Hi you guys, so today in this video I'm just going to be coming to you and we're just going to be talking about this unit here that I made. Um, I made this probably like around um, the beginning of March. Um, I was really, really excited to make this wig. Um, I had followed P. Mill, um, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with her. I followed her um, her guideline, like I bought a glue gun, um, I bought a little mannequin hem to show you guys. Um, so I made sure I followed some guidelines. Um, I also bought a wig cap. Um, as well as to make the unit. So this is it here. Um, it is a free part, so um, it doesn't have any like parting or anything like that. And I did it, I cut it kind of like a mushroom cut because I really, really love whenever um, afros have that mushroom cut look. It looks like, let me take it off, the hangers. This is what the hair looks like um, on the track. I do have some pictures of when I got it fresh out of the bag, so I will insert those pictures somewhere around here. But for the most part, this is what the hair looks like. And this was, I bought this hair off AliExpress, and I will have all of the um, links below for how you can get this hair and the buyer. And the buyer was really, really cool as far as communicating with me. Um, this was my first time buying hair off AliExpress, so I was kind of iffy. Um, but the hair is really good. It's 100% um, it's um, Mongolian kinky curly hair. Um, it's not processed, um, or at least that's what they say. <laughs> um, so, so when I first got the hair, I washed it immediately, and then I went ahead and deep conditioned it. And um, you know, it is curly hair. So when I was, I made sure I wanted to like just comb it out a little bit, you know, while it was still had the um, the conditioner in it. And of course, shedding happened naturally. Um, you know, what curly hair shedding will happen. Um, but it wasn't like a ton of shedding, so um, I let the hair dry overnight, and um, you know I had just put a little bit of coconut oil in it, you know, just to wake it up. And then I went in with the glue gun method, and I will go ahead and link P Mills video below if you're not familiar with her and how she does her wigs. Um, yeah, so that was like a really awesome experience making the wig. The closure kind of got a little messed up. It's it's a it still looks good, but it's like. I just try and cover it. I try like to put one piece of hair over it. I don't know. The closure, the closure looks good. It's just not exactly how she did it because she kept going around and around and around. Um, this was my first time making a wig, and I think I did a very, very good job on it for my first time making a wig. Like this shit to me looks awesome. Um, now for the cons of the hair, I noticed that like, let's say like I don't know, maybe that's natural with 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 weave. I've never really I'm not like a big weave girl. Like I really don't know much about it, but um I've only washed this hair two times and the second time that I washed it, it's like cuz I had combed out the hair so that it would be big like an afro and not like really curly, but when I washed it again, like the curls just reverted back. So it's like I have to go in dang, and and kind of like pull the curls apart. You know, and it's very frustrating because you know, when I'm when I'm combing out the hair, I don't want to take the hair off the um, the wig cap. I don't want to pull the hair off the wig cap, so it's like really frustrating a little bit. But I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me if that's normal or not. Um, but, you know, I, I've only washed this hair like two times, and, you know, I just keep it on my headstand. I, I put it, I spray it with water every day, but this is really, really doing me justice. Like, when I'm trying to go somewhere and I'm trying to look, you know, different, because if I'm just like tired of seeing my toi or whatever, I just want to spice it up. I just gotta throw on my little, my little unit, my little wiggy wiggy. So, um, yeah, yeah, tell me what you guys think of the hair, and, um, you know, maybe I'll come on here and actually show you guys how I did it, but I really don't think I have to because there's so many other people on here showing you guys the glue gun method. I did it exactly how I seen it, them do it, so it's really no difference. Um, let me got, let me know what you guys think of the hair, and, um, if you guys want to see any more, like, hair tutorials, um, extension tutorials, crochet braids, whatever, um, because since it is the summer, I am thinking of something to do with my hair, like, under here, I did twist my hair just so I get out of the way so it won't be matted, um, you know, so I'm just looking for a lot of different protective styles, but this is really, really working for me, like, this is a great protective style so that I don't have to keep bothering my real hair, you know what I'm saying, so... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please make sure you thumbs up, like and subscribe. Okay?